Good day. I'm Keith McKinnon and welcome to another episode of Masonic Curious. We're still here at the Cambridge Masonic Temple. About two years ago when we were here, we didn't tape anything here on the third floor and I want to give a short walk around uh, to show you today of what can be done when the membership pulls together and does something great. Now these floors, or the, the third floor, these three rooms up here weren't really being used for much over the years. Storage, the Boy Scouts were using them. Um, it was in bad shape. And the membership pulled together with money and with their time. Uh, we pulled down suspended ceilings, uh, refinished the floors, painted the walls. They refinished some of the furniture. We bought it new furniture. Really nice job they've done. And I just want to show you what the brethren can do in unison when they really have a drive behind them. Uh, especially when it's one or two people driving behind them to, to get something like this done. And now it's used by all of the lodges here in Cambridge before or after their meetings for various uh, get-togethers and whatnot. So uh, let's take a quick walk around. This is the third floor hallway. Unfortunately, we do not have a chairlift, but this is part of the project that was done a number of years ago where the hallways were completely refinished as well as the staircases restored back to the original grandeur. Uh, it's done in two whites and the ceiling with the skylight. And we try to keep a couple of the accents from the original third floor such as, and the fire department does a-okay this one, uh, though all the other ones in our building are up to code. This is the original 1911 hand-painted glass piano exit light that still works today. And we also have over here one of the several intercom systems that are still here today. Now the floors have all been redone, the woodwork has all been redone. We took a couple of the uh, stay, uh, st seats from the balcony and put them out here so members could sit. It is a rather large hallway. Beautiful lighting up here that does work. This is a beautiful plaque that Brother Nick Batzell made for us for the various members who gave of their time and money to have these rooms uh, redone and, and were dedicated. <clears throat> Coming into the lounge, which was originally the library when this building was built in 1911. We have up here some of the original commandery lockers that were given out to various members who had donated certain amounts of money so they may use it. We do have one which is still set up as the original locker. These date from 1890, handmade in oak and were installed in the old Masonic Hall in Central Square. And when that building was sold in 1904, uh, all these cabinets were torn out and brought up here to the Masonic Temple and a number of them are being used today. Uh, the colors are brought back to the originals, colors that were used in this building, which were dark reds, blues, greens, mustards. Uh, this one here is done in the uh, dark green. Uh, the ship came from Cherry Lodge of Canada, given to Cherry Lodge of Cambridge, and Worshipful Glenn Johnson built the case for it, it is the schooner Blue Nose, which a lot of Freemasons from Canada worked on. We have a nice little beverage center. This is for the original table that was downstairs in the old smoking room that was refinished with the original chairs. So this dates to 1911. Uh, we have the two couches and two arm, uh, armchair that were redone or reupholstered in leather. These are original from the building. Another painting by Brother Nick Reed of Amicable Lodge, which shows the Masonic Temple. This was done relatively new. This was done for the dedication of the third floor here. And as you notice, he did an excellent job on it as the entire lower floors are in darkness and the third floor, all the lights are on. This is one of the three fireplaces that we have in the building. And two of these have been restored back to working order and is still used today in the wintertime. 
by the various bodies that come up here uh, for uh, refreshments afterwards. So it is a large room. The woodwork's all been done. Suspended ceiling has been taken out. This was the original ceiling and it was restored with some beautiful lighting that was put in. Similar to the lighting that we did have here at one time in the building, which was gas and electric. Gas was on top and electric on the bottom. <clears throat> we move into the pool room, which is also the movie screen and audio, I guess, audio visual room. We do have a large screen here that can be pulled down. Beautiful pool table, which Charity Lodge donated. And this one is done in a lighter color and compared to the other rooms. And it's done in an off-white. Again, all the woodwork has been refinished. Floor has been refinished. And then we move into the smoking room. Now this room here that I'm in, the pool room, this was originally the, the directors of the Cambridge Masonic Hall Association meeting room. And then where these double doors are, was the sodality room. And today we have it as the smoking room. We have a TV here, which can be used as a TV or for games. We do have the smoke filter. Dot board. And the long table, which is also original, that was refinished about 30 years ago. Um, floors have all been done over. Again, this is these three rooms are well utilized by the various Masonic bodies. And at one time, you could have these double doors down here closed and have a separate group in that room and have these doors here closed and have a separate group in this room and a separate group in this room. These have all been refinished back to the original wood. And then by opening them, you can make all three rooms into one large area. And then coming back out into the hallway, we have a small coat closet and then the entrance to the balcony as well. And then we have a couple of the other old commandery lockers that are here. And of course, with that, we have to have Cambridge Commandery's banner case on top. So I want to thank you all for watching the video. Uh, maybe this might inspire uh, your Masonic Temple and the brother in the air to pull together in unison and maybe redo a couple of the old rooms. I know a lot of Masonic Temples are doing that now putting in smoking rooms in the basements or on the second floor, third floor uh, areas, uh, restoring some of the rooms for more social uh, activity for the lodges. Uh, we also rent these rooms out to various groups for various purposes. Um, they enjoy, both the public and the Masons, enjoy these rooms immensely. Uh, huge, huge asset to this building by having these three rooms refinished almost back to their original grandeur they're no longer what i call pieces of crap what they used to be back in my day beautiful rooms and i <clears throat> really like to bring guys up for the first time to show show off the building by these rooms here so again thanks for watching make sure you hit the subscribe button give us the likes up don't forget october 4th Fifth and sixth, MasonicCon at Adabo. The original MasonicCon and Masonic curators will be there. Follow us on Facebook. And again, our most sincere thanks to you all for watching our channel and for the comments. Take care. See you later.